Hey guys, Wandering Shell here, and this is the last one of the Marvel United Gold Team. Woo! Uh, this is actually the villain. I think his name is like Sebastian something or other. I should have looked that up before I got this started. Um, I'm just gonna look at it real fast because I can. <laughs> you can tell I don't know much about this guy. Other than he's the villain. Um, wow, I really don't know. Oh, Sebastian Shaw. I have no idea. Oh, apparently it says it here in this little ex explanation. He's a mutant. Sebastian Shaw started out in Pittsburgh poor and became a billionaire by 40 as a tycoon of Shaw Industries. After joining the Hellfire Club, he worked his way to the inner circle, eventually taking over the top position as Black King and made Emma Frost the White Queen his... Huh? His goal was for mutants to take over the world, the opposite of the X-Men who wanted to unite humans and mutants. His ability includes kinetic energy absorption, enabling him to gain strength in battle, Ooh. making him a powerful foe to beat. He never lost sight of his desire to eliminate humans and continue battling the X-Men. Oh. Yeah, he's a pretty much a bad guy. Hmm. Hmm. Who knew? Anyway, so... What I did with this one, I started with the red vest and ultramarine blue for his little coat. And then for his pants is, is uniform gray, or you could do ash gray to make it lighter, but I kept it as a darker uniform gray because it kind of reminds me of a uniform. Um, I don't know why he looks like old English if he's... I don't know. Anyway, uh, then his shoes, little fancy shoes, matte black. There's certain parts of him where I left, left it alone, um, especially that was back buckles on his boot, on his shoes. I did go back to it in the highlighting and made it gold. It's a surprise. Then. Since he is a villain, he gets the strong tone, and I must say, he looks pretty snazzy with the strong tone. So I did strong tone all over him, and apparently all over myself, and I even did a flesh wash for his face and hands. Even his base got a strong tone. I left it white because I wanted those ink crevices to really this tone go into those crevices. You'll see later where I actually painstakingly painted over every part of that. So time for the highlighting. After waiting a few hours for the paint to, the tone to dry, it's time for the highlights. So very simply going over anything that's raised, gave it another coat of paint. Try to make sure I don't get into any of those crevices or else all that detailing from it is gone. And because he does have a white outfit, I did paint back that white to really make it pop. Whoops. And there it is, the painstakingly painting every little part that has that white piece back into it. Trying to be very careful not getting into the crevices um, because I wanted to keep it in that tone. Kind of think of it like grout. You know, you want to have to grout a certain color, uh, and that's what I was trying to do with this one.
even the thing that he's standing on is even white also. So I'm trying to paint that and keep the indents showing so it really shows that detailing. Other than that guys, he's pretty much done. I'm just doing quick little wrap ups here and there. Even his little pants. Getting that a quick paint. And I even added gold for the buttons um, that's on his coat and vest. But I didn't put that in there either. Other than that guys, I hope you enjoy this. This is done of the Marvel United Gold Team group. The next one is the big box. And there's a lot of characters in that one. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that. Please leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And I'll see you guys next time. Later. Thank you.